Welcome to Center of Math's uh, series on graph theory. For this video, we're going to talk a little bit about Ramsey numbers. So uh, first, we're going to find, define the complete graph. So the complete graph, we're going to denote K subscript M. Uh, the complete graph over M it has M vertices and any two vertices in the graph have an edge going between them. So for, for example, K4, you have four vertices. Take any vertex, you can get this vertex and any other vertex has an edge between them. And now we're going to define the Ramsey number. So if we're given two graphs, G1 and G2, we can find the Ramsey number of G1 and G2 such that the smallest uh, order, such that any graph of order or G1 or G2 or greater, uh, uh, such a graph contains G1 as a subgraph or its complement contains G2 as a subgraph. And so these Ramsey numbers imply that as you get bigger, uh, as you get bigger and bigger graphs with more and more vertices, some kind of order kind of forms in these big graphs. So either we can find certain kinds of subgraphs uh, in the graphs or in its complement. And this is kind of like saying if we take the graph, uh, a complete graph with so many vertices and call them all the edges are either red or blue, either the red, uh, the graph with all the red edges contains a graph uh, contains a graph G1, or the graph with all the blue edges contains a graph G2. So some kind of order forms from large graphs. So we can prove that this number, in fact, exists. So uh, we can prove the Ramsey number R for the complete graph with M vertices uh, and the complete graph with N vertices. The Ramsey number of those two graphs does in fact exist. So first we're going to note that R, K, N, K1 equals R, K1, K, N equals 1 because K, N is such a small graph. It shows up a lot. Uh, now we're going to consider a graph with K. We're going to assume, we're going to assume R, K, M minus 1 comma kn exists and r uh, km comma kn minus 1 exists. So we're going to assume the lower Ramsey number of graphs do exist. Uh, and we're going to uh, say we have a graph with the uh, order of r km minus 1 comma kn plus r km comma kn minus 1. Uh, and we're going to so we're going to select one vertex from this graph with this large amount of vertices, and we're going to then this one vertex we select that has so many edges to the other vertices in the graph, and we're going to pair up the vertices and uh, the rest of the graph depending on whether or not they have an edge uh, to our vet vertex. Uh, so we're going to call the set of edges that do have an edge going to a vertex are the set of edges that do not have an edge going to a vertex. Uh, the set B. And we're going to show something about these sets. So, uh, so the set R is a set that has edges going to the vertex we selected and put aside. The set B does not have edges going to the vertex. Uh, so our total amount of vertices are the Ramsey number of Km minus 1 comma Kn plus Ramsey number of Km comma Kn minus 1. Uh, and that equals the magnitude of the set 
versus that do have edges plus magnitude of the set the versus that do not have edges plus our one vertex. That's also all the vertices, so we have an equality here. So note that at least one of uh, Ramsey, the uh, magnitude of R being greater than or equal to R k plus one, or if Ramsey number of km comma k n minus one is being less than or equal to magnitude of b, at least one of these was true, because otherwise if they were both strictly less than the Ramsey numbers, uh, this would be the, the, this term on the right side here would be strictly less than the thing on the left, which is, which is impossible. So at least one of these is true. Uh, if we assume the left one, if we assume that the magnitude of R is greater than or equal to Ramsey number of km minus one comma km, uh, the note that, uh, so assume first that in our, because the magnitude is greater, we can find either a graph km minus one or a graph kn in the complement of the subgraph of vertices in R. Uh, so if we can find the complete graph km minus one, then we just add our vertex that has edges going to all of R. We have a graph of km minus one, a vertices that all have edges to each other. If we put these, the vertex in this graph, we suddenly have a graph or a km, a complete graph or a km. If we don't have km minus one, then the complement has a graph of km, and then we're done again. We have a graph of km. Uh, and then if instead the one on the right is true, Ramsey number of km con km minus one less than or equal to b, uh, the, almost the exact same thing happens. Either we have a, a km graph in b, in, case, in which case we're done, or the complement has a km minus one graph, in which case, because none of the edges in b have now the vertices in B have edges going to our vertex. We'll just take the complements, only they all have edges, and we have a Kn minus one graph, so we have a Kn graph. And so yeah, and so from the existence of the Ramsey numbers of Kn minus one, Kn, and Km, Kn minus one, we have the Ramsey number of Km, Kn. And so by induction, this proves the Ramsey numbers of these complete graphs do in fact exist. Uh, so one quick uh, explicit Ramsey number we can calculate, or we can calculate a pretty low bound. Ramsey number of uh, k3 comma k3. K3 is just a triangle. Uh, it's less than or equal to six. So we're going to prove any uh, graph with six or more vertices, uh, and we color the edges. Uh, yeah, we color the edges blue or red. We're going to find a triangle, either a red or a blue triangle. And this falls. So take a six a graph with six vertices. Uh, once again, pull out one of the edges. Note that uh, by the pigeonhole principle, at least uh, at least one of blue or red, we're gonna have to color at least one of blue or red. Uh, from all the edges going from this verse to the other ones, there are gonna be three or, or more of either blue or red edges, at least one. So say we have three or more blue edges. Uh, for Since we're coloring each edge red or blue, we should have edges coming here, but we're gonna ignore these for now. We're just gonna look at these uh, three or more blue edges we have, so we have, so we have at least three blue edges, and then look at the vertices the three blue edges go to. Uh, note, so first note, if any of these three vertices have a blue edge between them, so we, then we would have a triangle. We have this point to our edge, to the next edge that's connected by the blue edge, back to our uh, selected point. And then, but if none of these vertices have blue edges between them, then we again have a triangle. We just uh, we can go from one point to the next, to the other one, to the other one. So in any case, we're forced to have a triangle, and that shows that this Ramsey number is less than or equal to six. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out the rest of our series. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and check out centermap.org. Thank you.